Happy Tuesday. So if you are in school today, uh, you are being taught this in class. If you are at home, then you are a blue kiddo because today is a white day. So it is Tuesday, October 13th. We are on the same lesson, 2.10. Remember yesterday I told you we were gonna continue this lesson. So I want you to go back one page. We're gonna do one more problem on this page. Then we're gonna move on to the practice and homework. Okay, I just wanted to go ahead and put my name and the date and things up here. So turn back to that previous page. We're gonna do number 20. So Mr. Wright bought a three pound bag of cat food and a five pound bag of dog food. There are 16 ounces in each pound. How many ounces of pet food did Mr. Wright buy? So he bought a three pound bag of cat food and a five pound bag of dog food. There are 16 ounce, ounces in each pound and we need to know how many ounces all together. So I know I don't have much room left here, okay? So I'm gonna probably move down to this blank space or you can use a plain sheet of paper. So we've got 16 ounces in each pound. So there's 16 ounces in each of the three pounds of cat food and 16 ounces in each of the five pounds of dog food. So we're gonna take that 16 times three and the 16 times five, and it says how many ounces of pet food, so we're gonna put all those together, okay? So we're gonna start with the cat food, just cause it's first. So three times the 16 ounces, three pounds, times the 16 ounces, that's cat food. and then three pounds times the six, or no, sorry, not three, I'm sorry. Five pounds for the dog times 16 ounces for the dog. And then what are you gonna do with those two things? Add them together. So that's your equation. And then you just work those out. So 16 times three, 10 plus six, all times three. So three times 10 is 30, three times six is 18. And I can do that in my head because I can do 30 plus 10 is 40 plus another eight is 48 ounces. And then five times 16, so 10 plus six, all times five. So that's 50 and 30. I can also do that in my head because that's 80. And we've got to add those two together. The 48 oh, plus the 80. So 48 plus 80. equals 128 ounces. We've got to put that up here. How many ounces of pet food did Mr. Wright buy? 128 ounces. You abbreviate ounces OZ if you didn't already know. All right, go ahead and flip to your practice and homework. It's super bright right now. I'm enjoying the sunshine next to my window, but it's so bright. All right, so yesterday we did the even numbers. Today let's do the odd numbers. So let's do one and three. We'll just do the top. One and three. So I do want you, well, we'll do one, three, and five because one's done for us, but let's walk through it. So it estimated at 150. So how did you do that? This rounded up to 50, so approximately 50 times three. 
and you can do 50 times three because you can do five times three is 15 and then throw that zero on the end. So 150. Now they did regrouping or standard algorithm. Okay, but you could also do 40 plus six all times three, 120 plus 18. And you can probably do that in your head because 20 plus 10 is 30 plus eight more, you would end up with 138. So pause the video, try number three. So to work that out with partial product would be 50 plus five, all times two. You know it's gonna end in a zero because it's got that zero in the factor. And two times five is 10. So it's 100 and you know that, think about that in your head. 50 plus 50 is 100. Then two times five is 10. Add those two together and you end up with 110, but it's got dollars on there, so make sure you have $110. Make sure you put the dollar sign, $110. Now you're ready for number five, which is 37 times nine, okay? You know it's going to be close to 40 times nine, or it could even be close since nine is so close to 10, close to 40 times 10. So if you're getting somewhere close to 400, then you're probably correct. So 30 plus seven, all times nine. You know it's gonna end in a zero. Nine times three is 27. Nine times seven, remember that nine trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 63. Then add those, 270 plus 63. Oop, 13. 333. All right, if you just want a little extra practice on partial product, feel free to do the rest of those. When you get finished, we're gonna look at number nine. Sharon is 54 inches tall. A tree in her backyard is five times as tall as she is. The floor of her tree, ho tree house is at a height that is twice as tall as she is. What is the difference in inches between the top of the tree and the floor of the tree house? So she's 54 inches tall. That's almost as tall as I am. A tree in her backyard is five times as tall as she is. And the floor of the tree house is at a height that is twice as tall as she is. What's the difference, what does that mean? Subtract, right? In inches between the top of the tree and the floor of the tree house. Okay, so we first need to know how, how tall the top of the tree house is. So it says the tree in the backyard is five times as tall as she is. So how tall is she? 54 inches. So 54 inches, which is her, times five will equal how tall the tree is. And then it says the floor of the tree house is at a height that is twice as tall as she is. So if you take her height, which is 54, times two, that's the floor of the tree house. And we're wanting to know the difference. We're wanting to know how tall inside it is of the tree house. So you're gonna subtract those two. 
So you just figure out how tall the tree is by doing 54 times five. So 50 plus four. 5 so you know it's going to end in a zero and 5 times 5 is 25 so 250 and then 5 times 4 is 20 and I can do that in my head I can add that 20 to the 50 so 270 that's how tall the tree is inches for the tree you're going to subtract that from 54 times 2 50 plus four, all times two. So we know that 50 times two is 100, and two times four is eight. So 108 for the inches in the floor. Okay, what do you have to do with those two numbers? Subtract them. So if you subtract 270 minus 108, okay, you can't do zero minus eight, so you've gotta go next door, right, and get one of those tens, bring it to here. So 10 minus eight is two, six minus zero is six, and two minus one is one, sorry. And so 162, what was it looking for? The difference in inches. 162 inches difference in the top of the tree and the floor of the tree house. So that answer is 162 inches. Number 10, Mr. Diaz's class is taking a field trip to the Science Museum. There are 23 students in the class and a student admission ticket is $8. How much will the student tickets cost? This happens to us a lot. So 23 students, which is about what we have. Tickets are about $8. We have taken field trips to the Science Center in Nashville before. So you're simply doing 23 times eight 23 students times $8. So 20 plus three. All times eight, we know that's gonna end in a zero because there's a zero in that factor. Eight times two is 16, so 160. Eight times three is 24. I can add 24 to 60 in my head to equal a total of 184. Where's my mistake? What have I not done? Label the units. Label, 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 label. How much will the student tickets cost? So you're doing this in dollars. So $184. Lastly, I want you to look at number 11. Compare partial products and regrouping. Regrouping means standard or old school. Okay, describe how those methods are alike and different. So you can either write it or you can just talk through it however you want to. You've probably already had this discussion so just use maybe a problem that you've had before. Okay, so like this 23 times eight, you could kind of compare those two. So if you're looking at the standard 23 times eight, you still do three times eight like you do here, right? You still do the three times eight, but when you do it times the um, tens place, when you do eight times the tens place, then that's different because that's only 16 there and you have to add two more. So it's the same in the ones place every time, right? So alike 
do the same thing in the ones place, but the tens place looks a little bit different. What you do in the tens place is a little bit different. So you don't have to write a whole lot. Just start thinking through some of those, like how, how they're different. All right, go ahead and do your exit ticket for the day and I will see you guys tomorrow.